last team of the shape challenge competition is all set to begin the team members are jc and anuj let's see if they can complete the challenge successfully let's begin contestants please come to the entrance door hi anuj hi jc anuj hope we win the competition today yeah jc i hope so too let us begin then jc and anuj welcome to the match chamber i am emma i will be your instructor in this competition hi emma to win this competition you need to get through four chambers each chamber has a specific task that you need to perform if you complete the task correctly the door to the next chamber will open okay to open the door to the second chamber please complete the given shapes by finding and placing the remaining part of the shapes in the hollow present on the door you will find the remaining parts of the shapes on the table hey jc look at these shapes hmm i don't see anything special about these shapes anuj these are called open shapes jc an open shape has a start point and an end point oh we have to complete these shapes anuj so let's find the missing pieces here's the missing piece of the first shape anuj hey i've got the remaining part of the second shape let's fit these in the door jc hey jc look now these are called closed shapes a closed shape has the same start point and end point oh so an open shape has a start point and end point but a closed shape has the same start point and end point correct jc congratulations please press both the shapes welcome to the poly chamber you got familiar with open and closed shapes in the previous chamber there are various types of closed shapes a closed shape bounded by at least 3 line segments is called a polygon oh can you give me an example of a polygon the triangle that you guys formed in your previous task is a polygon a triangle is a polygon bounded by 3 sides okay before you begin the task for this chamber Here's some information you'll need. The line segments forming a polygon are called its sides. The point of intersection of the sides of a polygon is called a vertex. To open the door to the next chamber, answer the questions I am going to ask. Okay, your first question is What is the name of the headquarters of the United States Department of Defense? I know this. It's known as the Pentagon. Wow, look at this. JC, this shape is called a pentagon. Oh, 1 2 3 4 5. A pentagon has five sides. A pentagon has five vertices an angle is formed at each vertex a pentagon has five angles your second question is what is the shape of each cell that forms a honeycomb it's a hexagon wow look a hexagon yes a polygon with six sides is called a hexagon also a hexagon has six vertices and a hexagon has six angles 
Your third question is What is the shape of the signboard used to indicate stop? An octagon. This is an octagon, JC. Okay. It has eight sides, Anuj. You are right. A polygon with eight sides is called an octagon. An octagon has eight vertices and an octagon has eight angles. Congratulations! You have answered all three questions correctly. For answering all the questions correctly so far, I am going to award you one hint. If you feel you're stuck at any time in the challenge, you may ask me for one hint to overcome the problem. Welcome to the quad chamber. In the previous chamber, you learnt about five-sided, six-sided and eight-sided polygons. This chamber deals with four-sided polygons. Four-sided polygons are called quadrilaterals. Okay. Your task is to identify each quadrilateral given to you and list some of its unique properties. If you are able to identify all the properties, the door to the next chamber will automatically open. Pick up the paper cutout placed on the table and identify its unique property. Okay, Anuj, let's do this. This is a rectangle. Correct. Please identify the three unique properties of a rectangle. Hey, I can identify two properties. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and parallel. Um, Anuj, do you know the third unique property? No, JC. Even I have no idea what the third property could be. We can ask Emma for the hint. Great idea, JC. Emma, could you give us a hint, please? Sure. The answer lies in the angles formed at each vertex. Hmm, I got it. Look carefully, Anuj. The angle formed at each vertex looks like the capital letter L. Hey, the measure of an L-shaped angle is always 90 degrees. Therefore, the third property is the measure of each angle of a rectangle is equal to 90 degrees. Smart, JC. Now let's see what the next shape is. A square. Correct. Like a rectangle, the opposite sides of a square are also equal and parallel. And the measure of each angle is equal to 90 degrees. Please identify one property that is unique to a square. Hey, not just the opposite sides. All the sides of a square are equal. Cool! You were able to identify the properties correctly, JC. Now let's see what the next shape is. A parallelogram? Yes. Now please identify the properties of a parallelogram. Hey! This parallelogram looks like a rectangle. Like a rectangle, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are also parallel. So, maybe like a rectangle, the sides of a parallelogram might also be equal. Let's use this ruler to find out the length of each side. You were right, Anuj. The opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. I got it. Look, JC, these opposite angles are equal. That means the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Wow! Anuj, 
There are only two shapes left. Yes, let's do this, JC. Please identify the properties of the rhombus. A rhombus? Hey, looks like the opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel. Great. Now let's find out the length of each side. Just like a square, all the sides of a rhombus are also equal. Look carefully, JC. The opposite angles are equal. So the final property is the opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. Finally, we have come to the last quadrilateral, a trapezium. Hmm. This is your last shape. Please identify the one unique property of a trapezium. This trapezium looks like a parallelogram. Yes, JC. But look, only these opposite sides are parallel to each other. Well done. You can now proceed to the final chamber. Before you do that, let me sum up what you just discovered about quadrilaterals. All quadrilaterals given here, except for a trapezium, have some properties in common. They are parallelogram. These parallelograms have four properties in common. First, all the parallelograms have four sides. Second, opposite sides of all parallelograms are parallel. Third, opposite sides of all the parallelograms are equal. And fourth, opposite angles of all the parallelograms are equal. Congratulations! Welcome to the fill chamber. This is the final chamber. So far, you have come across properties of different closed shapes. This door will open if you fill the cylinder placed next to it with the liquid from one of these three containers. The container you need has six sides and all the angles formed at its vertices are equal. You have only one chance. Okay. Container having six sides. Um, look. The blue container has only five sides. The second container has six sides. And the third container also has six sides. Great! This means it's either the red or the green container. Correct, JC. Now we have to find the container in which all the angles formed at the vertices are equal. Hey, I just noticed something. Both these containers have six sides, but their shapes are different. This is because when the angles at the vertices change, the shape changes too. Look, JC, the angles formed on the red container are not equal. This is clearly visible if we look carefully. There are two small angles, three big angles and one bigger angle. Oh, I got it. That means the container with the green liquid is the correct one. Yes, JC. If we look at it carefully, all the angles are equal. This is our container. Let's pour the solution in the cylinder. Wow! Congratulations! You have completed the shape challenge successfully. Yippee! We won, Anuj! Yes, we did it! An open shape has a start point and an end point. A closed shape has the same start point and end point. A closed shape bounded by at least three line segments is called a polygon. 
The following shapes are polygons. A triangle has three sides, three vertices and three angles. A quadrilateral has four sides, four vertices and four angles. A pentagon has five sides, five vertices and five angles. A hexagon has six sides, six vertices and six angles. An octagon has eight sides, eight vertices and eight angles. There are five types of quadrilaterals given here. Except trapezium, all four are parallelograms. These parallelograms have four properties in common. First, all the parallelograms have four sides. Second, opposite sides of all parallelograms are parallel. Third, opposite sides of all the parallelograms are equal. And fourth, opposite angles of all the parallelograms are equal. A rectangle. The measure of each angle is equal to 90 degrees. A square. All sides of a square are equal and the measure of each angle is equal to 90 degrees. A parallelogram. The measure of opposite angles is equal. A rhombus. All sides of a rhombus are equal and the measure of opposite angles is equal. A trapezium is an exception and does not exhibit any of the properties the other given quadrilaterals have in common. A trapezium has only one pair of parallel sides. The shape of a polygon depends on the angles formed at its vertices. Changing the angles will change the shape of the polygon.